Superstar Celine Dion is one of the top singers in the world, but now she's in the spotlight for a very personal struggle. She is living with a rare condition called stiff person syndrome. Her struggles are being featured in a new documentary that came out just yesterday. And here to tell us more about this rare disorder is Dr. Susie Bash, a neuroradiologist with RadNet. And thanks so much for joining us. This is so rare, most of us haven't heard about it. So tell us, what is stiff person's disease? Sure, so stiff person syndrome, or SPS, mm. is a rare neurologic disorder that has features of autoimmune disease. Okay. And an autoimmune disease is when your own immune system mistakenly attacks normal healthy cells in your mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. And the disorder can manifest as fluctuating episodes of muscle rigidity and stiffness mm -hmm. and spasms throughout the body. Mm -hmm. and it's it's also associated with hypersensitivity to certain stimuli like a loud oh. noise or touch okay. or a rapid motion, uh, cold temperatures or even emotional stress and then they, those stimuli can trigger uh, severe debilitating spasms that can be quite painful and even result in a fall. Mm. So patients with SPS often have a difficulty with motion and walking. Mm -hmm. And in Celine Dion's case, it actually could unfortunately impact her ability to sing mm -hmm. because if it impacts the, the muscles of phonation, mm -hmm. like the facial muscles, palate muscles, tongue, mm -hmm. laryngeal muscles, and the diaphragm. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually in the documentary, which I just saw yesterday, mm -hmm. she mentioned that the uh, change in her voice was the first symptom she ever had about 17 mm. years ago of wow. stiff person syndrome. She noticed a slightly higher pitch in her voice due to spasm of those uh, laryngeal muscles. Interesting. Now, you know, um, there is no real cause. There's things that, that trigger uh, stiffness perhaps, but there's no cause of the actual condition? Well, actually, we think that the cause in most cases is related to an antibody against an enzyme in our body called GAD. And okay. so it's an anti-GAD antibody. Now, GAD prevents our nerves from overstimulating our muscles. Okay. So when you have antibodies that block the GAD, you lose that inhibitory response and you end up with, um, you know, sort of increased motor rigidity and spasms mm -hmm. that you see in this disease. And mm -hmm. so it's a hyperactive muscles. Mm -hmm. And so again, can be very debilitating, but we, we do think in most cases, it's related to this um, antibody against the GAD enzyme. Mm -hmm. And that can actually be tested for with a simple blood test. Okay. And so many of us are only just now hearing about this disease with Celine Dion. Why haven't we heard about it? Is it, is it a new condition or? Yeah, so it's not a new condition, but it's extremely rare. And I think that's why most people really weren't aware of it before, because it's one in a million. Wow. So extremely rare. It affects mm -hmm. women two to three times more common than men. But oh. when you think about it, the symptoms that, that you get with muscle rigidity and spasms can be seen in other diagnoses that are much more common. Mm -hmm. So like Parkinson's is one in a thousand. Ankylosing spondylitis is one in a thousand. Okay. Multiple sclerosis is one in 750. Okay. So when patients come in with this, it's an, uh, SPS is probably not the first thing that you think about. Mm -hmm. But you know, if the patient does have those classic symptoms, mm -hmm. and then on clinical exam, if they have sort of rigid board-like muscles, mm -hmm. then that might you know raise your awareness to test testing for the GAD antibody. And there are other tests you can do as well. You can test the muscles and see if you have a lot of motor firing. So there's other things as well. But uh, again, it is a simple blood test that, that is often done to, to make the diagnosis uh, along with your clinical exam. Really, just one blood test, wow. Yes. Okay, all right, well, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate your time and really bringing some insight into this condition that most of us hadn't heard about before. So thank you. And of course, you can find more information about Dr. Susie Bash and stiff person syndrome by going to kcalnews.com and clicking scene on TV.